All right, guys, on today's video, we are on the PlayStation 2. Today, I'm going to show you how you set up the NES emulator, FCE Ultra. I'm going to be leaving you a link to my page where you're going to be able to get the download for the emulator. Um, I'm not going to be providing any ROMs, so just keep that in mind. So this is my page. So just scroll down until you see FC Ultra Emulator for PlayStation 2. And there's the download right there. It's going to be in a zip format. So you're going to have to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. Now I'm going to show you all the files that you're going to get. So here's the folder, FC Ultra Emulator PS2. So you'll have an NES ROMs folder. This is where you put your .NES ROMs. And then you're going to have the FC Ultra uh, .elf file. This is the emulator. And then the title CFG. Uh, so this is basically all you're going to need. Uh, make sure that you have the uh, free McBoot already set up with ULaunch Elf in order for this to work now we're going to get on the playstation 2 and i'll show you how to set it up in a little bit of gameplay all right now on the playstation 2 uh plug in your usb or hard drive for me i'm going to be using a hard drive uh power on your system make sure you have the free mcboot uh memory card inserted So mine's going to load right into Free McBoot. Now just launch, you launch Elf. Uh, now press circle for the file browser. Now go down to mass, which is your USB or hard drive. Press circle. And it's going to show you all the files on your hard drive or USB. Now I've created an emulators folder. So you scroll down until you find the folder. So retro emulators, press circle. And then Nintendo NES, circle. Uh, then you'll scroll down to FC Ultra for PS2, dot elf. So this is going to boot up to the emulator. So just press circle. And it should boot right up. Now you're in the emulator. Now go over to Mass where you have your ROMs. So in the emulator you're going to press X. So press X. Now you're going to find your where you have your ROMs. So mine's going to be, going to be in the same folder. So retro emulators, Nintendo NES, and then NES ROMs. Press X. And this is all the ROMs that I have. So Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Double Dragon 3, Karnov, Mega Man, and POW. Uh, so I'm just going to start a few games. Um, if you want to go into the settings, you just press select. And it takes you into this um, menu. Uh, you can force NTSC or PAL. Uh, you can center your screen. And stuff like that. Uh, when you're done with your settings, just go save configuration, press X, and then exit to options menu, takes you back to your ROMs. Now I'm going to load up a couple of games just to show you that it works. So we're going to load Castlevania 2 first, so press X, and it should load right up. So there you go.
Now the start uh, button is a start, and then select is a select, same thing. And then you can use the A and B, which is the square and the X button on the PS2 controller. Now when you want to play another game, press the triangle. Exit menu. The triangle, exit game. Now, now he takes you back to this menu. Now we're going to start Karnoff quickly. So every game so far that I've tried has worked perfectly. The sound, the sound and display. Let's load another game. Uh, triangle. Exit game. Uh, let's load up uh, POW. Press X. Triangle, exit game. Now we're going to start Mega Man. And there you go, guys. Um, so that's basically how you set up the NES emulator FCE Ultra. Um, I'm going to be making more videos on the emulators for the PlayStation 2. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.